Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Who's Lila? Previously, we got much more information on who Lila actually is. Now we're off to get the rest of the endings. So, after getting the uh, Damon DLC, we've got this option here called Summon the Desktop. Uh, and I have a feeling, I have a feeling who's going to be talking to us. Yeah. Okay, there's an icon now uh, on my desktop. Uh, it's it's this thing over here. So here's the thing we've summoned. So I've got this app open, the, the demon app. Uh, let's load... I think it's the burnt... Yeah, it's the burnt hall. Oh, oh. It's doing stuff. Weird. Seven. Seven. Let me turn off the demon. Oh, it's Father Lawrence. Who? Who, who is it? I must have dreamed it. Father Lawrence! Is that you? L L Lawrence. This is what they called the last vessel, wasn't it? William. Is that you, William? Yes, yes, it's me. Last vessel? Father Lawrence, where are you? What happened? I thought you died in that fire. Where are you? I'm at a strange, strange place, my dear William. But we deserve this. I should have never tricked you all. My egoism has led to their death, and to your consequent suffering. A turn of the wheel. What do you mean, Father Lawrence? She mustn't continue what I started. I thought the Empress was the one to, uh, seize her. But Lila seems to be way too clever to fall victim to such tricks. There's another way. I'm gonna... Save that. Rebekin? This was the name of your colleague, right? Yes. I was too foolish and power hungry. I suppose, but now it's all in vain. You are the only one I wouldn't want to suffer from it. So here is the code you seek. It's from the desktop computer I used. You will find all the information there. 710. Okay. Well, the, uh, computer was in this room. Whoops. Enter pin. 710. Whoop. Put a nine instead. There we go. Document is locked. This document contains a single URL. Huh. So there's an actual like, you know, I said it was like it's a meta game aspect, but it's uh, because we, we got to get a separate app. Uh, we ever go into a different website now. Interesting. Okay, so here is. The website. Uh, let's see. Here are the words, Professor F. Ribkin, and I'm here to rail you. The truth, the science is lying to you. Imagine if humans, rather than being the generators of consciousness, were in a sort of parasitic relation with it. Well, the consciousness was an underlying, inseparable factor of reality existing outside of an unconditioned, be human brains. You know, animals don't possess consciousness. How did humans come about, and why does Professor Ribkin find the word possessed to be inaccurate in his context? The existence of heart problem of consciousness, look here. I mean, it's a Wikipedia article. We, we don't need to go there yet. Among other things, suggest that consciousness, in fact, cannot be understood through traditional scientific means. The correlation between electric impulses and conscious phenomena is evident, yet how can we begin to characterize the raw feelings? Quelia. Quelia obviously cannot exist outside the context of a singular mind. Oh god, there's a lot here. 
This is different from any physical phenomena we have ever researched, but it's not unreasonable to assume consciousness to be a quality that exists unrelated to the meat machines of the brains. Such perspective was prevalent even among the older ones, so a term has emerged. The Prince. And we see that word a lot so far in this game. Humans seem to have evolved an analog meat and fluid system, the brain, that conceptually mimics the inner workings of the Prince so well that the Prince was gradually fooled into thinking he was looking in a mirror. And when he saw his reflection dance a certain way, he would occasionally think it would be fun to dance the same way. And that's how the pain and suffering of the Prince emerged. Humans are there on their own nothing, simple meat machines mimicking the grand consciousness. The grand consciousness, however, grants them the great depths of knowledge, but letting them be its host. Thus, the human race prevails. Sometimes a work of art makes so many human mirrors act the same way. The prince thinks that the work is a creature to dance with. Clear example of this case is the case of Chet Murray. Uh, I'm not going to click any of the like, links or anything like that, because I believe articles are technically copyrighted. <laughs> it's, it's funny how that stuff works. Chet Murray is the creator of Dada Dog is a powerful pictorial agent called the Meme in the Modern World Wide Web. A blurred vision of it can be seen below. It is stating article what begun as a harmless picture was later used by a supremacist group consisting of primarily young women to males. It is insane popularity difficult to explain as millions of such pictorial agents are born every day and forgotten a matter of minutes. Uh, apart from its illustrationist, this artistic presence has had a rather tragic and ironic fate. It almost seems to have gone completely opposite to the author's intentions, ultimately killing the author by the hands of the supremacist group. This is why the image is blurred. I'm not willing to subject its wrath. The controlled method of creating the ultra-influencing works of any media. For many years, I've worked with my colleague to find friend and low-tier... Hmm. Professor W.A. Lawrence. Father Lawrence. Since the unforementioned example was made without premeditation and had a effect it had due to pure luck, is believed that the media items are high effectively can only be created intuitively. This is not true. Sorry I'm reading this a little bit fast, but I'm just trying to get through this. We've been fooled, controlled by the order of blank, who utilize artificially crafted mimetic agents or to control the, the meme snake. Professor Lawrence was the only one who devised a generalized method for creating, creating. Hmm. I saw another word. Let's take note of that. Such works and controlling, controlling them. The special forces tried to shut him up, but you can't hide this from us. Here's a link to the original scientific paper. The password may not be revealed openly, but the daemon knows it. Look at answer text. Base folder. I trust your judgment. Huh. So the password, by the way, the file I talked about, because I actually found this file earlier, because as soon as I downloaded the app, like I, I went digging in there, because that's how I work. Um, it, it was a text file called answer, and there's just one word, and it's just parasites. Hmm. Maybe that's supposed to be on the itch.io page instead. Okay, so I didn't put the password. I am on a special itch.io page. Generalized guide to UAM creation. Originally uploaded by W.A. Lawrence. Emergency handling part three. Classified PDF. Okay. We'll download these. All right, so let's see. Classified. We got some scans here. You're welcome to pause and read this. There's a lot of, like, information that's not, like, any of use to me. Paper aims to provide a reliable guide intended to be used by the consequent leader of the Lawrence fraternity. The studies were formalized in a method developed by Professor Lawrence and his colleague, Ribkin. I've mentioned means of study, and though is denied by modern neuroscience. Physiology, where necessary to negate the unknown limitation, national worldview. Lawrence method was among other influences based on the works of... Huh. Practical Tibetan Buddhism. Okay. Results. The end of paper. Partially declassified. Let's see. I'm gonna kind of let me let me kind of see how, what we're dealing with. Oh my god. I will get. Uh, there was something interesting down here at the very bottom. You might have noticed it too. We'll we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to kind of like... I'm going to basically just speed read this and I'm going to try to summarize what I think I've found. Let's see. Unless we know among the centuries, a work of art would often surface to popularity meaning which would often go beyond its offer, expectations and beliefs, 
Such items would oftentimes be extremely relatable or otherwise influential for almost each every one of its consumers. After gathering enough popularity, an item would often act as though it had a mind of its own. Such behavior, although only seeming conscious, would almost always ensure the item's relative longevity. Okay, so they're basically talking about memes. Let's see. With the growing spread of the World Wide Web, the UIWAM has taken many new forms. They now possess generally lower lifespan and however varying effects is much more than its predecessors. We may see ideas, like guys, reflections, and functions, of personalities, and so on. They also go into, there it is, there's the word meme. They go into the term meme. We must not confuse those of orthodox social engineering tools such as online propaganda. However, the two often go hand in hand. When not made by an accident, the inherently occult UIWAM requires a very specific process of creation and nurturing. As stated in many outrageous and thus often close to truth conspiracy theories, yet been known to use them. This partly explains the recently uncovered Farm Fields project. Let's see, goals. We the fraternity of Lawrence. Lawrence pressing aim to utilize the UIM for a good of humanity. I myself am willing to transcend the human condition in order. Ooh, this game is getting it's getting out there. Part three, the method. Theoretical base, and naturally appearing human creating them, and no rare phenomena, how are such mythology? Do you just simply military practice? Da, 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 da. It's the unpredictability. It's almost impossible to tell. More of the new spirit imprints work of art produced by humans to the qualities of UIM. Uh, lack of control. I'm going to kind of keep going here. This is a little more important right here. As a solution to these glaring problems, the Lawrence Fraternity offers a method of manufacturing the artificial new spirit dweller. Surrogate mother controller UIWAMs. The methodology was carefully extracted mainly from the work of Marcel. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Snake eyes. Some interesting stuff in here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find what's going to be useful for me for the story and for the game. As a newly created dweller needs a psychic base for its existence, we had to gather a group of people who, for the purpose of the experiment, were all told to create a tulpa with a predetermined appearance. While the brethren believed that the individual tulpas belonged to them only, they didn't have any way contact with each other, the very starting conditions, same tulpa appearance, character, and same med meditation practices, have led to the birth of a psychic creature that persisted beyond their individual minds. From now on, the creature will be referred to as L, so Lila. Their combined vision of her character would form an ever-changing and relatively lively new spirit dweller that's complete artificial in her nature. We were sure not to accidentally invite any existing archetypal deity in the process, as it would introduce uncontrollable consequences. I think he goofed. Let's see. The existing archetypes are considered by far most powerful and least controllable new spirit dwellers. History shows cases of large-scale calamities induced by trying to use the archetypes of the blank. For example, this is so due to the universality, the more people know about a dweller, the more characteristics as well as psychic energy it borrows. For some archetypes which exist in every person's mind from birth should be kept completely out of discussion. They'd be way too powerful and unpredictable. The artificial dweller was recreated was given vampiric behavioral qualities due to better controllability. We would have means of stopping its activity almost instantly by cutting the source of its nourishment. So that's why Lila says, feed me. In order for L to exist, it needs a fixed amount of so-called psychic energy. In the more primitive times, the main way of releasing it was human sacrifice. As the human race developed, ancient Egyptians were first to acquire a sort of psychic accumulator. So of archaic human murder, they would use a more quantitative yet less powerful method of animal sacrifice. We utilize the same technique in order to feed L. For some of these reasons, the brethren have functioning cow krill farm. Um... William does make mention of, of the animals. Emergency handling. Or Lila does, anyway. In an unlikely scenario, we lose control over L. All the necessary steps of regaining it are described to be in the locked document on the main computer, which we're at. The password for the document is First Gold. The instructions regarding complete elimination of the artificial new dweller are present in the same file. Conclusion. As a result of our efforts, we were able to successfully implement a stable UI WAM pipeline. A detailed report on each Korean M and our fitness and lifespans can be found. Uh, number one, 98H was canceled, all blacked out. Of leg bones, eight months. Some of the variants can still be found on secluded image boards. However, they seem to be lacking any initial psychic impulse. Natural end of lifespan. Dada dog. So after the moment's paper's release is not L's child. This, this is the interesting one, the bomb one here is what I was talking about. T, still active at the moment of this paper's release. First, the sexual child of L. T has diverged from the expected meme format and was given a longer lifespan. Despite the significant raise in vitality due to the change of medium, T seems to have not amassed a requirement of blank. 
So T is Tigochi. So Who is Lila is a secret sequel to Tigochi. You, 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 never, you never saw it coming. You never saw it coming. But now we know who the father is uh, when, they, when Tigochi, um, the, uh, the, you know, the, the girl. Now we know who she refers to, like father, father, stuff like that. Uh, we also have the same daemon that communicates to us, which is also the self-insert for the uh, creator of these games. So there's layers, layers and like an onion. Anyway, let me get the password and let's get out of here. Okay. So. Here we go. Here we go. Let me get rid of Lila. It's the remainder of the document you've read before. Emergency handling. In an unlikely case of L going off control, it's... It's useless trying to regain control. Kill her. Yes, you've read correctly, my dear William. Meh. Belaya needs me no more. The only way to stop her existence is by... Okay, that's creepy. I don't know why. Cause I, you know, I have my phone like near me when I'm recording. The so my phone's closed, but um, you know I, I can see like a, there's like a top screen on. You can kind of see what's going on. The phone started reading my voice, and I'm because I'm, I'm seeing the text as I'm reading it. I like you know did the commentary. Then I'm like I'm looking at my phone like what the. No, that was weird. I'm like, I like I turn it off. I'm like how did the Google Voice activation start? I don't know. That's weird. That's really weird. It's by getting rid of all of her hosts. Anybody who has ever come in contact with her as a potential host. After all, if nobody knows about her, she can feed off their energy. You? Wait, you. Well, I, I had a suspicion you might be us also, but that's not my point. Th that, that twist is probably coming. The other twist is like, if you is us, that means we know about Lila. Uh-oh. She can feed off their energy, but without a human host, she can't do anything. She is a construct of thought, unable to live independently of people's knowledge of her. Remember that well. Huh. Let's get out of here. Howdy. I'm Special Agent Arnold Hill. William Clark, correct? Please come with us, would you? Uh-oh. No! I don't want to be interrogated! Well, apparently I wasn't. Okay, yeah. Got a new ending there. Let's go to Dr. Yu's office. I keep calling him Doctor. It's just because, like, his mannerisms. So, a hierophant. Will has come a long way to learn the truth behind the fraternity, didn't he? Yeah, right. A lot of hoop jumping just to learn what I could already have told him myself. By the way, you. That fire was your men's job, wasn't it? Yes. It was us. Obviously, Lawrence was aware of the FBI knowing of UIWAM. Moreover, we have been utilizing them proactively for the last 10 or 15 years. We were a bit late with the fire, though. though. Now Lawrence is in a place where there is no time at all. So it was you lot who stole all my food. He called Lawrence when I was asleep. I know. What did they talk about? Did he read it what was in the secret file? Come on, detective. You know I'm curious. What was written here? I'm not sure if you're playing with me here, Lila. You... You are a haze, composed of many human minds intersecting. A construct of thoughts of many hosts. Wait, aren't you... As long as there are humans who know about you. As long as you have hosts. 
You can't be killed. So, are you going to just... There, there. There doesn't seem to be, uh... It's going to be a different way to do it. I... I'm so sorry, I... Whoa, 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 whoa! Ha! Huh? Black. Oh god, the game crashed. Oh. Oh god. I'm so sorry, Will. It's never that simple, is it, Detective? You... You tricked me, Lila. Your sorrow is exquisite, Detective. I haven't had such a feast in a while. If I knew just how rich your pain was, I'd never even bother to inhabit William. <laughs> you are horrible, Lila. Well, that's a harsh thing to say. At least I'm not the one to kill an innocent boy, Detective. You... you need to leave. I... I need a moment. Let's reload in again. Ah! Oh, look, William's gone here now. It's only Lila in this world. What happens if we, like, go to, like, to one of the old endings, then? You know, it's still Lila. But now we don't make facial expressions. Lila is just literally... Lila is like a, a PNG file. So that's permanent. So here's something interesting. Now that we have the demon thing on, this thing appears telling us to open the app. Okay. So we need to do something with you. Thirteen eleven. Huh. Is this such a multi layer game? That's what I'll, I'll say. Nothing. Uh. Yes, yeah, so I had to change it to November thirteenth uh, under my calendar. The date of the calamity. Please don't go closer. Stay in the corner there, please. They're all dead, aren't they? The newsletter said so. Even Father Lawrence. Well, and I have to say it now. Lila, I won't kill any more animals for you. I, that dog was... Lila, why'd you tell me to stay home that day? I'm sorry, I... I can't do this anymore, you have to leave. I don't know where. You must be just a piece of me. You're not more than I am. So why can't you just leave? Please. Lila? Please stop with this nonsense, Will. You know I can't leave you. But something has to change. Don't worry too much about it. It's important to keep a clear mind. It will be just like a swap of lenses in a kaleidoscope. Or reels in a movie projector. Don't run from it. Just let me. No! Don't touch me! What? What's going on? Can I save? No! Ho 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 ho! Okay, I'm in the other world, I think. No, still can't say. We're, we're, we're doomed. Lyle? An old column. I can't tell how old. Lilac Mania.
Yeah. Interesting color, actually. Uh... Lila, are you approaching me? Ooh, you're approaching me. Here's a nice touch. Her theme gets louder as she gets closer. Um... Was it a good thing I went up the elevator? Scary. Oh my god. You can't get me, Lila. You can't get me. William, William, walk faster. William, walk faster. William, William, slide down those stairs like a damn, like a com like a comedy action movie star. William, keep going. William, keep going. William, keep stop. William, go in the elevator. We can get back faster than she can like get to us. Like I said, I, I was like, it's it's almost tempting to just get caught by her. That music is comforting. The bright light, the music. You've been tricked. You've been bamboozled. Junk reels. Pit. You got the other reel. We'll have removed a wheel. Now there's just one. It's useless now, Will. You. You think you've got the upper hand. You are just delaying the inevitable. It's no... You're gonna get thrown out in the trash, all right. Uh, what ending was that? The tower. So, Lila did make mention of something Will did in the tower. So this, this is what that was mentioning. So she actually references... An ending you're probably not gonna get till much later in the game. I think theoretically you could get this ending early. Like there's some endings are um you know linear, like you have to get that ending, then they get the next one. But a lot of them, like, you could theoretically like come here and blitz these endings down long before you get like some of the easiest ones. Alright, let's pick a card. Any card. Oh, tower's not here. Did not load properly? Hmm. Okay, yeah. It just it just slightly bugged out. <laughs> so the trickster gets tricked, eh? You could say so. It wasn't a fair play. Will would have benefited so much from giving up his reel. What are these reels? What's on them? Just garbage you humans collect throughout your life. Memories. Habits. Although sometimes you get something good. Are you referring to yourself? Well, obviously. You humans still need something to see me as. So, you construct a projection of me. 
the same way you construct projections of other people you know. All your identities are just silly pieces of film illuminated by the prince. Aren't you the same? Oh, I'm so much more, detective. We seem to have exhausted the cards to talk about. Let's go back to the menu. You can actually vaguely understand it. Like when, you know, like the vocal part. Now, obviously you can read the text, but I'm just saying, like, I actually understood what it was trying to tell me. In like a Kenny from South Park kind of way. Yeah, I found a locker key. Oh! Thank you, demon? Okay, now let's check out the locker. Michael Graves is locked. Tanya. Among other things, the old sticky note reads, Oh, and Graves, don't forget to check out my Twitter. Tanya Kennedy... Well, Tanya Kennedy... 1899. Should take a photo of that. The link is now copied to your clipboard. Okay, we are on Tanya's Twitter. So, 22 tweets from Tanya Kennedy. I should... F <laughs> no, maybe I shouldn't follow this. Art student. I like cappuccinos with lots of milk and esoteric literature. Oh, you're a cancer. Lives in Detroit, Michigan. Hmm. My heart is in shambles. On November 29th, we have lost our Tanya. They found her in December. There's nothing that could bring her back now. Lord, we may give her our littlest angel. I want this account to be a reminder of who Tanya was. Rest in peace, my baby girl, Ethan Kennedy. Honey Kennedy. Cute cats. Retweeted. Cute cats. Um, this kitty's pen is like the raddest thing ever. Attention, if you see any sticker of the Dada Dog in your locker door or home anywhere, don't hesitate to contact the police. What starts a dumb meme is now used by those extremist fucks to target people. Malcolm has received one of those, and this needs to stop. Heartbroken by the news of Chet Murray, and I thought people could kill someone because of a meme. You can't retweet the developer's own stuff, Tanya! I can't believe it's happening. Malcolm Graves has passed away this morning. He was found strangled near Goff Street near where school is. Police are investigating. Guys, it's our Malcolm. So he actually, um, I remember this back in the demo. You can mention Malcolm to uh, Michael, and that'll instantly, that'll just have uh, Michael just kill you right off, like right away. You know, because Lila is evil. <laughs> Does it seem real? My condolences and prayers go to his family. I hope they find the fucker who did it. Also, Big Graves, are you reading this? I'm so sorry. I know we didn't like each other too much, but give me a call sometime if you want, okay? Okay. So they hooked up after Malcolm died. That's how they started talking. This is interesting. Been to the Sunshine Cafe once again today. It always feels so welcoming. It makes you feel so strangely somber. Oh, like the painting or picture. It's like a photograph or a painting, one of the two. Anyway, I think I'll return there again soon. Check it out if you like. It's located at 200 Grand Bearer Avenue. Huh, the house of life. Of Adam's first wife, Lilith is told, the witch he loved before the gift of Eve, that ere the snakes her sweet tongue could deceive, and her enchanted hair was the, the first gold, and still she sits young while the earth is old, and suddenly of herself contemplative, Draws men to watch the bright web she can weave to a heart and body and life in its home. The rose and poppy are flowers. For where is he not found, O Lilith, whom shed scent and soft shed kisses and soft sleep shall snare? Lo, as that youth's eyes burn, it finds so went, for I spell through him and left his straight neck bent. And round his heart went strangling golden hair. Lilith is also never a strong theme throughout the game, in reference to Lila specifically. 
Yesterday upon the stair I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. Oh, I wish he'd go away. When I came home last night at three, the man was waiting there for me. When I looked around the hall, I couldn't see him there at all. Go away, go away. Don't you come back anymore. Go away, go away. Please don't slam the door. Last night I saw upon the stair a little man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. Oh, I wish he'd go away. Basic human emotions. Okay, we're done here. Okay, so the symbol in the cat photo was the one, the unlock password. When we go William Clark, don't come, I changed my mind to 4 a.m. What the hell, dude? Now I'm totally coming. Will? You alright? I'm not choking, I don't want to see you anymore. Please don't come. Will is trying to save her. Dude, I can see something's wrong. I don't care. I know you're scared of trying to push me away again. I'll be waiting for you there. Don't come if you don't want to, but I'll be there. Mike, it's alright, you don't have to like them. So, I know it's alright, and I don't. Especially Danny. I got you. He's a jerk and a fuckboy. I don't get why you still lay him fuck with Martha's feelings. I'll talk to him. I don't care at this point. Come on, don't be like that now. It's because I'm a fucking failure, Mike. Stop saying that about yourself. Come on, Mike. Face it. You can see at least I'm not blind. I see how you're suffering. From all the shit I'm doing to you. Look, I don't care about that. I know you love me and I love you. Isn't that what matters? Are you stupid? Mike, there's no way I deserve to be loved like that. By anyone. Oh god, this feels awkward. Of all people, you don't need a burden like me. B.S. I love you. We all do. Wanna call? I'm going to bed. One week ago. Where are you? Like, I know you don't want a cup, babe. Come on. You can't play with me like this. I'm going crazy here. Where the fuck are you? Tanya? 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 And by that point, she's already dead. Marfa. You delete the chat without reading. Oh! One week ago. Ellie. Go George, you there? Yeah, sorry. Just texted Marfa about, you know. Yeah. So what was that dream you had? You want to tell me? Remember? Yeah. It was a cool one. I was like, it was this gorgeous woman. Sing among poppies and roses and a myriad of her flowers, which I didn't know the name of. Music changed. Completely nude. And there was this faint music playing in the air. And like, my hair was golden for some reason. Completely golden. I was combing them with a beautiful comb adorned with many little symbols. I think it was copper. Holy shit, that's a detailed dream! Did it end there? No. After a while, I've noticed something strange. It was like one of the poppies was different from the rest. Its butt was hanging lower than the others as I came closer to it. As I turned to look inside, it turned out there was a mirror inside of it. I've seen my... I've seen my own face? But, um... The eyes in the mirror were insane. They weren't mine. They were... You quickly delete the remaining messages. They were Lila. You're in great danger, girl. Call me or visit my website at... Hmm. Note reads, shopping list. Bag of milk? Oh, I never got that bag of milk. My screen. Note reads, new address, 2524 Clearmount Ave. Don't get FedEx the old one, stupid. You moved ages ago. We're done here. New address, Claremont Ave. Tanya. This is so wrong, isn't it? I guess so, yeah. Do you love me well? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I just felt weird to say that. For some reason. I mean, I... I get it. If I were you, I wouldn't trust myself either. No, 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 no. It's not about that. You just remind me of someone I knew. Is that so? Honestly, I feel a little bit offended. But after what I did to Mike, I don't really deserve anything better, do I? But aren't you... Aren't you Lila? Huh? What was that you said? Aren't you Lila? What? If it's a joke, I don't get it. Who's Lila? Tile drop. 
Some girl you like? No. No, it's... I don't remember who that is. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember! Will? Will, are you alright? Will? Yeah. Yeah, I'm alright. Wait. My face just doing its shenanigans again, I guess. Lila's taking control. Don't worry, dear. But Will, Will doesn't say dear. It's difficult for me to express emotions. I envy other people. They make faces naturally. But I have to make conscious this Something's wrong. What's wrong? What? What the hell's going on, Will? A stranger. Tell her to be quiet. Will's not here anymore. Please be quiet. Everything's alright. What's gone into you? What? 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 If this is a prank, don't even bother calling me after that. What the fuck is this in your arms? I don't understand, William. This is too much. It's... You don't look like him at all. Will, what's happened to you? See, Will. This is what you get for trying to get rid of me. Watch carefully. You can begin. Sure. There's no need to scream, Tanya. Mechanically, I feel like that's what, like, literally what the voice is supposed to be. Everything's... Okay, so that's how Tanya died. The lovers. Maybe these are the order of the timeline? Because these are later in the tree. These are very early. Poor William. He deserved it, you. After all, killing that bitch was his idea. I don't believe you. Why not, detective? Will thought she was me. I guess he hated me that much. He thought I came back for him. I only helped him finish what he started. Will is not a killer. We seem to have exhausted the cards. So, I'm going to put in the address from Tanya's Twitter. Grand Beaver Ave. This is the cafe mentioned in the, uh, at the party. Professor made coffee. Wonder who it's for. Coffee beans. Yeah, it looks like coffee beans. Coffee as usual, Lila? Lila? She doesn't wait for you to answer. Thanks. Detective Yu's been here earlier today. Huh. Really? Yep, he didn't ask anything about you, though. Huh. Makes sense. He doesn't even need to. That sneaking jerk. Huh, <laughs> yeah. Is he still figuring out... you know? Who you are? Well, obviously. We wouldn't be here if he wasn't, would we? Well, yeah. We thought that maybe he's just giving us some more time out of pity. I mean, it could be that he already knows that you're a... Shh. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just teasing. Ah, oh, come on. You know you's listening even now. Yeah, because it's us. Sure, otherwise I wouldn't be here talking to you. He must think he's really powerful, mustn't he? Guess so. He's certainly good at figuring things out. 
A nosy guy. I give him that. Well, at the end of the day, his curiosity is what keeps us alive. That and his pain. Yeah. Poor guy, actually. To think, how much of the time he gives us is filled with suffering. What's he doing it for, then? He hopes for that sliver of satisfaction. Our world is built so. Gives him a little pieces of info, so he feels as though he's getting somewhere. Doesn't he realize that 9% of his time consists of pain? Damn, it's true. And only like 10% of the goodness. I don't know. Even so, he's a machine of pain. A suffering generator, as all humans are. Needs his attention is what keeps. Well, come on now, don't give up too much. I know we haven't talked in a long time, but... He's listening. Huh, <laughs> yeah. He'll press me about this for sure when I come back. Do you have to? It's... Up to him. It's up to you. To decide. Well, thanks for coming today. I really see you these days. Yeah. Kinda missed all this. And... The sun. Let's check out... Our office. What was that all about? Machine of pain, me. You love it when it's about you, don't you? What, I... I mean, I don't care. We can talk about something else if you like. What did she mean when she said that my... Curiosity keeps you alive? You are so close to finding out the truth. Do you realize that, detective? Just answer my question, Lila. Why are you saying that it's up to me? Come on, detective. You're almost there. I don't. I can't yet. Please, can't you just tell me? Warning, missing header at UN part 2? What? If it's easier to understand that way, an identity is like a piece of semi-transparent film. It lies in a ray of light. So the light thinks it's that piece of film. Doesn't the light itself want to know what it is? I know, I want to know what the light is. Neither the film, nor the light, want things. It's just ran on the film. I want to know what light is. I don't get. It's like when reading a book. On their own, the characters are just a bunch of symbols. But your attention makes them kind of alive. It's as if they borrow your mind as simulation space to play out their consciousness. It's like a wind-powered walking machine. Your attention makes them move and act as a living thing. But when it's still, it loses its meaning. Wait, so you, on the other hand, you are composed by intersection of many rays of attention, aren't you? Very good, yes. But even if I were to get rid of all of them, you wouldn't disappear. Why? Well, I guess... I can just straight up tell you. No. No! Fuck, no! Sometimes, a piece of film is designed in such a way... Is you looking at the camera now? Is that different or no? That when catching the light of attention once... It tries to do every little thing to keep it to itself. It creates mazes and unbelievable fractals of mystery. You see... The beauty of it is... Its structure is not random. There's always an underlying logic, and a single correct interpretation of its narrative. But is it even obtainable at this point? I don't know. This piece is always designed to be just about explainable. But small contradictions and unspoken details usually prevent the full picture from being formed. So, what... 
And was it all too... Yes. Yes. So this... must be the most vile. And the last trick of them all. I think that's the end end. Yeah, this is the true credits. Well, maybe. You know, you never know. This game can, can pull some tricks. So, well, let's, let's kind of figure out what the plot is. We know you is supposed to be us. But you is also... I feel like you is also a bit of their own character. I'm trying to interpret the final trick. Is the final trick you were realizing the truth of what you is and what the world is? Because Lila, I guess, is a meme. In the, it, it's, you know, the thing of like, with enough belief and spread, a thing kind of gains life. Because Tagochi's also a meme. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's a David Lynch ending. It's actually a little more understandable than David Lynch endings. I I'll say that, actually. David Lynch can get really out there. Where only David Lynch knows what's going on. Have you ever seen his interviews? <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure sometimes only he knows what's going on. This one, I, I have like a... I have a structure of what's happening. So the Tulpa thing is still there. But the Tulpa... It's not necessarily just the Tulpa that Willem created. It's also... Our observation of Lila is an incense. Like the meme, a meme is capable of kind of becoming a Tulpa and it's like getting its own life. I feel like that's kind of what they're saying. That was kind of almost like an ending in itself. It's not here in the cards, but... Hmm... What's this? Text on behind that. I need, to, I need to flip you around. No. Can we can we zoom in and enhance? Zoom in and enhance. So the text on the back of the card is sorry. It's hard to explain. And the front of the card said disgust and confident. So I'm trying to study the card on the uh, itchio page. So I see disgust and confident. There is in the top left in the one image. And I see now you're William Clark, correct? It's hard to explain. Now you're William Clark, correct? Disgusted. You look disgusted. However, that is not really my name. Excuse me? My name is Lila. Um, can you elaborate? Did you change your name? No, my name Lila was assigned to me by the new Worms of Lawrence. Although I've been known by many names since the dawn of humanity. Could you elaborate? A child is born, and with him come the shadowy figures. Each child has roughly a similar set of them. Some of the shadows are hazier. Some take form after some time. The children never see us, but we are always there, pulling the strings. And when a child invites me in, I can't resist it. So are you saying, this is not the William I'm speaking to right now? It is not. Do not worry. You know who I am. After all, you were born with me as well. I am the one snatching children from their sleeping mothers. I am the Nocturnal Queen, the one known to cast both nightmares and dreams of lust. The the Lila Lilith. Uh, excuse me, I'm not sure what happened just now. So you are claiming to be some kind of demon, or... You don't seem to understand. I want to talk to Detective Yu now. Look, Bun, there's no detective by that name here. Now let's go back to... <laughs> Notice that? Now let's go back to what we're discussing. Do you know this girl? Of course. She's the reason I'm here and talking to you. 
Why is that exactly? Because she looks exactly like me. And because my little William slotted her. William Ming. This boy's a sign name. William Clark. He was the one to invite me in. I see. So are you saying that I'm now talking some in being inhabiting the body of William Clark? You know, Will, it's a very common thing guilty people do. They come up with those stories to clear their conscience. But it was you who did it, wasn't it? William did this. Yes. But you are William. I want to talk to Detective Yu. I already told you. There is a detective by that name here. So backtracking a bit. Alright, if, if Will did this, how did he do it? I don't know everything. He was able to tire me out. To keep me hungry long enough. So I didn't look through his eyes anymore. But I remember him meeting this. Copycat girl. The spark of remembrance was nutritious enough for me to catch a glance of her. Yeah, remember that scene? Towards the end of the lover's ending? It all happened in a room. Full of people. There was music. Are you by any chance talking about Matt Hurley's party? Then, I could get glimpses more often. They talked about silly things, and then... He must have started remembering. I saw clearly. She looked just like me. Not nearly as beautiful, but I see why William could confuse us two. He thought I came back for him. He thought she was me. So that's why he slaughtered her. How did he do it? He strangled her. And then... <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. He cried like an infant. The stupid guy. He couldn't take it in. The thing that was unraveling before his eyes. Delicious. So I had to step in. Oh no, it was a happy coincidence. I had to clean up after him though. Cut the body to pieces. It's my last resort. We have found a book about tulpas in William's drawer. Would you claim that you are his tulpa? The worms like to call me that. They thought they had control. But they are no gods. You humans can't treat anything now. So all you do is create artificial empty spaces in your head in hopes that someone like me comes and fills it up. And so I came. They believed it was a product of their thought. But I was here all along. I'm sorry you'll have to stop with this nonsense. You will be evaluated by the court doctors on more time after this interrogation ends. You do realize that you'll go to jail regardless what you claim you are. This body, if you will, is going to court. It does not matter. My affairs may be fulfilled from any place. You could be dead now, had I wanted. Well, that's a bold claim. In any case, there's no reason to continue this interrogation. The motive of the crime seemed to be clear. We will ask you to lead us through the crime scene after this, so we get a more accurate picture. Sure thing, officer. Sure thing. You're here. Again. What do you want? We've told you the story as well as we could, and there isn't much left to see. But you're here to hunt for secrets. Secrets. That may be a somewhat fruitful endeavor, I guess. But there isn't much point in us anymore, is there? This construct we have built it has served its purpose. By performing its main function, the system has inevitably ruined itself. That's not a bad thing. After all, its purpose was to inject us into you. Now we may live on, unconstricted by the time you decide to give to us. Anyway, if you're here for a recap, please help yourself. Secret. Oh, this is the uh, developer's room! The poster of John Lennon on it. I'm like a new palette. Oh god. No. Oh <laughs> nope. A PC, it's out of power. Fallen chair. Weird. You have a feeling someone's just been here. It smells like ozone.
Yeah, so there's definitely some secrets tied to the bus stop. So one thing I did want to point out that the, uh, the whole chat thing with the Washington Post article, that's not real. Like, you go to that link, it doesn't lead to anything. I checked that out. So the whole da-da dog thing is... It looks like something that's isolated to this world. It could also be reference to, uh... Lyrics to the song? It might have relevance to this. Hmm. Corrupted. So we messed up a save file. Purposely corrupted it. Oh, the demon did something. 3651124. Uh, there's another little thing I also found, because I went for the developer's YouTube channel. I'm going to show a little bit later, but it has to do with Togochi. Okay, 36. Now 36. Point. Wait, hey, 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 hey. William. You stupid pun! You are not supposed to be here. But as long as you are, we can enjoy our time together. Please, I don't want to be forgotten. You can ask me one question. Who's Lila? Lila is the mystery of who Lila is. Was that it? Do I gotta like reboot you every time? Can't do anything. I think you only get one question. God, it's like the question of like. Because I've been looking around. It's like, what? You got one question to tell God. What do you ask him? Like, yeah, what's the best anime? So if you keep exploring that world, uh, you can eventually find some. You can find like the projector portraits of the the main cast for the most part, uh, and some trees. I think supposedly uh, this is just going by whatever people have found. Um, you can only ask one question about resetting your save files in the registry. So people have been pulling together their questions and answers. So one of the obvious ones is who is Detective You, and yeah, that you know that's your detective mind. That's you. That's kind of explained in the main game. Uh, the Stranger is also you. And uh, I feel like that's the, the main ones that the thing is answered. And William is a discarded reel. So I'm going to show one other thing. This is not connected to this game. This is something I mentioned about Togochi. This is a little something interesting on the creator's channel. By the way, this video is called Where I Live. So the Where I Live video that was actually made before Tigochi was released. And we clearly see the the other world where the reels are and the um they're not actually tulpas, but they kinda are. I I'll just say like where the tulpas come from. And you also hear that electrical noise, because there's like a lot of electricity in that world. So Tigochi herself does make mention of the, the the sycamore forest or something like that. That's the forest she refers to. That's more David Lynchian stuff, though, at the end of the day. Even the electricity. David Lynch, and David Lynch really likes electricity. <laughs> he used a lot of that. There's, there's a really heavy... Well, it's it, like I said, it's a few things, but I feel like Twin Peaks, the the main character him, himself, with the lilac and control of the body, that's very Twin Peaks. Quick note, I'll be showing some of the endings I got in previous playthroughs. These are going to be, like, quick cuts and things like that. So... Without context, they're not going to be as, like, interesting. I recommend going for my actual playthrough, because of the way this game is kind of structured. But these are just going to be kind of here for people who are curious, or just as you can say, like, all endings. If you want to listen to my post-commentary, my analysis of the plot, go to this time here that's listed on the video. So you can skip those endings I've already gone.
odd-looking apparatus. Strange. Apart from projecting, it looks like it also somehow receiving its own image. Seems like it's real or detachable. The Fool. Fisher, I've just received the news. Will, about today. May I ask you where you've been before we took you in? I was at school. You see, we received a call. There was a tenant at Burfwood. Is that where Jennings lives? The one we talked to today. Yes, yes, Martha Jennings. And the tenant's name is Miri, I think. He described a young man with a black hair entering the apartment earlier today. He also claims to have heard a girl scream. Are they there now? Yes, a squad's been sent there. Look, Fisher. I'll go check on them. You stay here. Sure. Say, William. I've just noticed. Why do you smell detergent? Nice to meet you, Lila. I am Special Agent Yu, FBI. Do we know each other? Oh yes. We've most certainly met before. I must have forgotten. What do you want? You see, I've been studying you very intently, Lila. I, too, have questions I'd like to ask you. What for? At the end of the day, I'd like to find out who you are. You amuse me, detective. You really are nothing like those fools. You seem to keep your eyes open. Oh, I expected an exquisite feast. Please, ask away. We aren't going to talk here, Lila. Meet me at a familiar place. A place you use for saving. Our menu? I'll be waiting. I don't believe that, though. Do you, Ted? So, Will, the bruises you showed us earlier. That's Michael Graves who gave it to you. Scratches? How the hell does a guy give another guy nail scratches? I told you, he's wearing rings. He's a rock fan or something. I know it's a Nazi Osborne poster in his locker. Yeah, I remember. He told me that. It seems to correspond with what the others said. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, Mr. Graves seems to be a very short-tempered boy. So, William. Will you actually be able to testify against Michael in the court of law? Oh, oh, oh! 
Absolutely, sir. Come on, Ted, don't tell me- <sighs> We'll talk later. The interrogation's over for now, William. We'll tell you when we're free to go. There's just a bit of paperwork left. In Taro, this is my favorite card. The Fool. I get what you're saying. Too bad we're here now. Yes. Seems like whatever William did there didn't really help. Still, I'd like to imagine him some other place. As clear-minded and childlike as the Fool. Not remembering and not assessing the junk around him. Just being. That's why you envy us, isn't it? You can't do that yourself, and you rely on food we humans give you. I don't envy anybody, you. There's no use in comparing stupid glass shards, even if you think one of them is yours. Please, pick a card. So a place where we met first. You might not know it, but I've been watching you intently, Lila. From the point William woke up in his apartment, right until the end. So, did it help you? Not yet. I'm still not quite sure. If I'm being frank, I have almost no damn idea about what happened before. Or after this day. I appreciate your bluntness, Detective. Does it feel right? that William is most likely going to be prosecuted. I'm... not sure. You see, at that point I didn't know William that well. To be quite honest with you, I feel a bit cheated. I'm not sure if the way it ended was the victory of good, or a terrible mistake. Too bad, detective. <laughs> not unlike me. You don't seem to be easily satiable. Maybe we could talk over some more cards. Sure. Please pick a card. Judgment. What a strange outcome that was. I do feel bad about Michael's fate. Oh, do you feel bad about what's going to happen to Graves? I wish you could do something about it. You do have the power to divert the way some events go. You won't lull me into a false sense of safety, Lila. Even if I did that, now I know for sure. In the Garden of Forking Paths, there will always be the one that leads to Mr. Graves being falsely accused. This card is an objective evidence of that. Not bad, Detective. Many others will try to deceive themselves. Thinking that only one of the many paths is real. Yet, they all exist simultaneously. Intersecting. In a weird way. They seem to dictate each other's logic, too. I'm not sure if I can grasp the picture in its entirety yet, though. Do you feel that you need to? Oh, yes. Yes, I have to. I don't think I'll be able to find satisfaction until I understand each little thing. I feel it's what I need to do in order to find out who you are, Lila. Well, see about that. We seem to have exhausted the cards to talk about. We can go over them again if you'd like, but we don't have to. We hung near my house. Where? The exact place, please. An abandoned building. It used to be a condominium, I think. Weird place to hang out at, huh? What did you two do there? I don't know, just hung out and... Talked? What was your relation with the girl? Keep making the sad face. I mean, a sad face. His face changes. So, friends. He seems to be lost in thought. Now listen carefully. 
Whoa, this is new. We have found a female torso in trash near your apartment. You made a sad face. He ignores your reaction. The boys are doing a DNA test right now, but I'm pretty sure we both know who this torso belongs to. I don't I. Did you do it? I'm just straight up asking you because there is no doubt in my mind about whose work it is. Making a scared expression. Keep making it sad. Keep consistent to the ending route we're doing. I mean a sad face. I don't know if it actually is going to affect things, but like I'm, I'm just keeping it consistent. You do realize she has family, right? Don't you want her mom and dad to have at least a little comfort in knowing where the remains of their girl are? Are you sure it's her? Are you stupid? I told you we know. Now tell me, where are the other parts are? You hid them well, didn't you? But you got lazy with the last one. Dan and Fink will find it. Hi. Did you use that saw in your apartment? Use, use for what? I mean, a sad face. Don't play dumb. We find even a little bit of DNA on that saw. And I'm sure we will, William. Then you're fucked, William. Because even if you wash the blood off, you still have little things. Like fibers. Also, the bone was cut. We can identify the exact instrument. Just by the marks on the bone. It's absolutely precise. We can find out everything about up to the specific model of the instrument used. Might as well tell me how you did it. I, I didn't. Please, well, it's no use now. I'll tell you something an old friend of mine used to say. Of all the people in the world, the best and the worst are drawn to dead dog. Most turn away. Only those with the purest of heart can feel its pain. I know you aren't a bad guy, William. I know you can feel the pain of others. Can't you? No, please don't make me. No. No, no, no. It's just not. She did it. She wasn't even scared when we... When I... I killed her. I killed her, sir. I killed Tanya Kennedy. Thank you, Will. You did a good job just now. Oh. Oh, God. And we're gonna pick a card, and we're gonna go over the ending. What? How did this happen? Did Will turn himself in? Was it your plan all along, Lila? But I found it in a different way. I don't get it. Have you heard of the Garden of Forking Paths, Detective? Borges' short story? Yes. I mean, I get it. The story could have unraveled in many different ways and so on. You don't have to be a genius to understand that there are multiple possible routes. But which one of them actually happened? You don't get it. They all happened. But... In alternative universes or something. No, in this universe, silly. But which one is canonical? All of them are. And none of them are. You seem to think that some of the dreams you see are more important than others, detective. I suggest you reconsider. All of them are equally ephemeral. All of them are nothing but dreams. We seem to have exhausted the cards to talk about.
You can actually under you can I mean it's not really understandable, but you can hear the basics of what the wording is. What a pleasant surprise. Hello, William. You need to stop calling me on the phone. It's useless. Well, I'll say this once. Your tricks are laughable. And even with her help, you're not getting back. I have something for you. Please take it. Did you hear what I said? You acquired a wheel. Are you afraid of death? I think death means different things to us, you. I won't die if you shoot a gun at me. But a full understanding of my story. A loss of interest that closure brings, that's... Well, never mind. Forget it. What about you? I'm not sure. I've died many times, but all I was met with was with a different dream. Along your path, have you ever stumbled upon a man with six arms and snake eyes? Uh, I have. Um, just once. When you leave me in this dream, try to recall what he said. You are in a very special position right now. You have the opportunity to ever jump into the wheel again, or be free of dreams forever. Don't waste it. This time, try to make death be the end of you. You did a pun! We have to get back to the dream. It's such a shame we have. I wish we could talk more like this, you. Please pick a card. Wheel of Fortune. Who was that? It's William. Didn't you hear us talk? I did, but... So called you Lila, but you called it William. Well, of course. Film reels are not needed. I have to go somewhere. This is where Williams went. I had to pull the same trick on him after what he did in the tower. You mean... I mean the one on the forest. The one with the pit in the small projector room, where all previous film reels are lying around. So you have the reel. What's it for, really? Depends on who's steering. I didn't get rid of them. Will, on the other hand, likes to place them on the projector again. Peculiar. We seem to have exhausted the cards to talk about. We can go over them again if you'd like, but we don't have to.
I thought you'd be gone after that. Well, it takes a bit more than getting rid of that stupid reel. That film reel was created by William, but I'm not contained in it. It only resembles me a little bit. Just like that bitch Tanya. Why do you look like her? Does everyone see you the same way? The worms of Lawrence do. But there are some who can see better than others. Mm, that was a really interesting dialogue. I priestess me, we'll get some more answers here. So, just who are you, Lala? Oh, I am Will Stolpa. He's made me after the passing of his mother to... Oh, wait, wait. No, I'm the vengeful spirit of the girl named Tanya Kennedy, and... Oh, no, wait. I'm a scientific experiment conducted by the U.S. government to brainwash its citizens to... Or I have a metaphor for mental abuse everybody's seen about a hundred times already. Or am I a twisted incarnation of Will's dark, tormented psyche? Oh. Which one is it, Detective? Hmph. <laughs> Playful as usual, I see. Don't worry, Lala. Well, I won't stop until I find out. Even if it means I'm feeding you in the process. Please do, my friend. It's her again. What? What? So you want to see so badly? Well, feast your eyes, stroke Nev. She hid in the boiler again. Well, are you satiated now? Oh, Lila, you are such a naughty, naughty girl. I do not desire to feed for now. The abode that you seek, it has a numerical value assigned to it. The number is 43033. Fucking Lawrence. William has hidden this one so well. Now, Lila, your endeavors amuse me. But now it's time for us to seize. Have you ever heard of the term devouring mother? It's a Jungian term. It describes an archetype. A mother, incredibly protective, but in the same amount, selfish. It is a mother who devours her children, stealing them from the real world. Disgusting. For many, it is. Do you have a good relationship with your mother, Lila? Are you trying to be funny, detective? <laughs> no need to be so hostile, Lila. After all, you are the one who came here. We seem to have exhausted the cards to talk about. Yeah, it's the Empress. Wanna dance?
What? Where am I? Who are you? A stranger. No, I... It couldn't have been her. I've... I have never even... So that's how they met. It's nice to see William making friends. It was. Huh. <laughs> they aren't his friends. You saw the way they looked at him and the way they... Are we getting jealous? What? That was my suspicion myself. I thought Lila was jealous. Hence the... I, think, I feel like that was the trigger. I don't possess such feelings for anyone, I... Mm-hmm, <laughs> alright. By the way, what was that figure in the corner? Are you talking about the stranger? Yes, he looked a bit like William, didn't he? It's just... It's not his usual look. A statue of sorts. It looks familiar. It looks so familiar. It may be made of wax. So lifelike it is. Does it talk? It looks so familiar. His face is like a mirror, isn't it? You cannot help but gaze at it. There are no words spoken. All happened in instants. How amusing. A vessel for my kin has come on its own. What does the vessel want? With the first movement of your mind, the creature seems to have understood the whole of your desires. It is known. We will help you understand. Nothing is required in return. We don't need your compliance. You may now seek help from my servitor. The Daemon. You must acquire him separately. He has uploaded his addition to this reality. I shall give you a link to his location. Listen carefully. Storage steam powered app of Lose Lila Daemon. The link is now on your clipboard. If you still want to hear from Lawrence, call him on the phone. Daemon will know the number. Would you let him see the phone rotor? Who is the prince? No one. Whenever you say who, you're just pointing your finger at those stupid projector reels. Oh, there's another person here! The prince is not a who. If you want to see projector light, you need to look beyond the film. 
Why do you yourself need a reel, then? It's an anchor through which you humans can understand me. Lawrence is worms trying to make an instrument out of it. They made a reel artificially. Too bad I had my face on it. I couldn't help myself. I always come when someone calls. But I was here before all reels. Just like my father was. But yeah, uh, that's it for Who's Lila. That is all endings. That may not be all secrets. It, it's a good portion of them. As in, like, if we go by achievements on Steam, it's a good portion, if not all of them. I doubt it's all of them. There could be something really deep. Little thing, you might be able to dig in the files to kind of cheat out, or maybe you're supposed to. Who knows? But we have the gist of the, uh, the storyline. Now, Lila is supposed to be Lilith, too. You kind of find that out, especially in the cop ending where you reveal your Lila, the secret interrogation ending, whatever, the temperous one. But I don't think she's just, oh, I'm Lilith. I, I think it's more representational of the fact that Lilith is... The game's using Lilith as, like, the first meme, as we call them nowadays. So she predates... Because the, when they're doing the experiment, because this is some weird government conspiracy experiment thing, they're like, oh, we just create Lila. She's fresh. Uh, Lila is almost short for Lilith. That's why there's like Lilith paintings with all references to Lilith. Uh, and even Tanya's Twitter has a reference to Lilith. But she's older than that. She, she like I said, she's she's from pretty much the creation of uh, ancient man. So she goes way back. Now the story, the story does get weird. There, It is... You gotta think of this game as philosophical, but not philosophical as in, because some people are gonna take it this way, as soon as they see philosophy, they're like, oh, the game's preaching to me. It's not preaching to you. No, I'm not saying that as like an opinion thing, I'm saying that as like, I can really tell like an objective fact, I can just tell by the way it's written. It's not preaching. It's like when you watch a David Lynch movie, it's not preaching you that, oh, if you drink the coffee, you're gonna see a message, you know what I mean? It's you're supposed to kind of use the creativity and philosophy of the story and the experience and you kind of wrap your head around the story using that. So it's not saying like, oh yeah, Lila's exists and she's coming to get you all you viewers. Like not not that literal, you know, you can't think that hard about it. But it's it's just going on about what is Lila and who's Lila as the game goes on. And Lila is a sp sp kind of malevolent entity, especially in this world. That is essentially a meme. Like a kind of god that is living off of faith and attention. And the meta element would be, of course, that us, the player, Detective you, play the game, and uh, indirectly you, the viewer. So now you all know of Lila. Lila could use the exist and live. But I don't think the game is saying, like, William's life and events don't matter, because William's an, an entity in the other world now, along with some of the other characters. The the other world does exist in this, this thing. It's just treating it as... As Lila herself kind of goes on with, you know, branches of existences, but she doesn't, she doesn't quite say other dimensions or other timelines. She says it's like a branch, it's like a tree. To her, all these existences aren't different. They're just how you perceive the world and the ego and everything. That, that's kind of the philosophical. I won't go too heavily in the philosophical, and I'll let kind of people interpret and make their own comments and thoughts on that. Uh, at, at the core story, of course, it's just... Um, William is under control of Lila. William is a blank show. He is stuck in the other world. Sometimes he gets a bit of sentience and control over it because Lila weakens or maybe Lila is just bored and gets entertainment from the whole thing. Lila is in full control the whole time. Never at one point does Lila ever lose. And Lila herself points out that William at the end of the day is the one... There's a, bit, there's a little bit of mental manipulation there because Lila did clearly get jealous. She, she tries to hide it, but she did get a little bit jealous. Uh, but there was a bit of manipulation there where William was able to be twisted to murder Tanya because, like as she said, he had a subconscious desire to be worried that she was Lila. And that kind of sets forth all the events of the game. But yeah, it's it's this is a very good game, in my opinion. It's one of the most unique ones I've played in a very long time. It's going to be harder to consume. It's not too bad. I've, I've played some surreal David Lynch games. A lot of them are harder to consume. This one's going to be harder to consume than, say, like, some other... Uh, you know, it's not going to be as easy to consume as, say, like, 
Undertale or Doki Doki or those other things that kind of played with the nature of things. Uh, but it does present itself correctly. And I, I mentioned this while I was playing. There, there is a certain thing where everyone always tries to do, emulate David Lynch. He's kind of the kingpin of a certain form of surreal thriller and horror. And there's also some books. Uh, there's also some other famous writers and movies and things like that. I, I, I'm just using one thing as just... It's the simplest example about going down an entire list. But a lot of folks make the mistake, as I say once again, where they just think surreal. It's just, it's surreal, 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 surreal. It almost gets kind of bogged down in this surrealness. It becomes like slow and kind of tiring. This one captures properly. You do want the veil of surrealness, but the surrealness cannot overpower the practicality of like the story. So Twin Pinks was very good because while yes, there is that avenue, you still see Agent Cooper doing normal things. You kind of like feel for the people in the town and everything. And despite sometimes things being quirky, it's presented in such a way where you don't really question how surreal things are. You're just like, you know, the coffee and and the pie and, uh, you know, everyone's doing some weird dance now. You don't really question it at some point. So we had some good kind of breaks where there was a human element. We've got our kind of like shock scenes. We've got our kind of a little more scary scenes. And as I mentioned, it's not presenting everything straight. It's using multiple avenues of perspective even just in the screens and the emotion simulator and like the ARG and all of it so when you put the whole experience together you got a proper basically if I was Agent Cooper you know like from Twin Peaks I can imagine headspace wise this is what his brain's going through and this is how like the way I'm way you play this game or maybe visualize it is kind of what he would be experiencing going through a David Lynch script so I think it takes good advantage of the medium of video games because I was, I sometimes mention that uh, the the medium of video games can be very unique. It's not just a matter of like let's emulate a movie, which you shouldn't do. You should say how can I use the gameplay to create an atmosphere. Uh, Kojima, an example, is very good at this with the uh, Kojima. Sometimes, it, realistically, he's not the best of the writers, right? And sometimes the games aren't perfect he makes, but he is very good as another example, of using gameplay medium to tell an atmosphere. Not just a story, an atmosphere. And the Metal Gear games also have played with, like, little perspective things. Uh, probably one of the older examples of, like, an ARG in Metal Gear 1 with the, the code, and it was, like, a weird copyright protection thing. But it was still, like, one of the, a good early example. Uh, this game does that. I give it a lot of praise. Uh, coming off of Tigochi, this is a big jump as far as uniqueness. Tigochi was already a pretty uh, interesting game. It was just kind of a suffering Tamagotchi simulator <laughs> to a certain extent. But to go from like Tigochi to like, jump to this, that's a pretty le big leap as a developer. Uh, you don't see many indie devs just kind of come out like swinging that hard off the early bat. Because this is this developer's second kind of like serious game. I think they have three games out there. One is a little more narrative, almost visual novel I believe. I haven't played it. I, I've kind of seen it. To go choose a bit more advanced, actually pretty advanced for an indie game. And then there's this. Uh, is it the best game I ever played? I, I never really ever used the word best game I ever played. I always kind of evaluate things on like, did I have an interesting experience? Because life is a series of memories and experiences. It's not just like you have the one experience and everything's like, everything's crap after that. Time to give up now. It's like, did this game add a interesting memory I will always kind of look back on? And yes, it did. So, mission accomplished. I think if I had to give it any criticism, one is going to be an opinion criticism. This is not related to me, but I can see where some people would be turned off by this game because it is... They might see it as like hipstery or like the philosophy thing is going to turn them off. That's fine. The other thing I think is that the emotion system with the face is so good. And the times it's used, if you use it properly, I, mean, I, I goof around with it because I'm trying to manipulate things for reactions. But I know for a fact, like I have not seen all the dialogues that are possible in those things. You may think, oh, Manly got all the dialogues or like the, the main thing. I got the main outcomes. But you can get new dialogues, like, you know, things I haven't seen, but doing different expressions in different orders, too. Not just like, bup, 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 you always get the same thing. 
So the times it's used, it's used really well, and it kind of seems like the emotion system, once we get about halfway into the game, it seems it kind of like falls away. It becomes more of a surreal horror adventure. And I saw, I, I checked the, the developer's YouTube channel, they put a lot of work to make the, the facial thing. So it's a little bit, it's not like, oh, the game is ruined, disappointing. It's just more like, it would have been great to see, of seen the face thing used outside of like the, basically it's like the interrogation and like talking to your friends and some other things like that. Anyway, so that's it for my playthrough of Who's Lila? I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.